Hey y'all, greetings from the great state of New York. As y'all can probably tell, I'm a native New Yorker. I was born and raised in Queens, so I'd like to give a shout out to all those rednecks in Elmhurst. Okay, maybe not. Today I just want to show you a quick tutorial on how to distress an image, or some people call it a weathered effect or a grunge effect, is this kind of texturing here. Uh, we're going to be using GIMP 2.8. If you don't know, GIMP is an image manipulation program. It's a lot like Photoshop, except it's free. You definitely get more than what you pay for. If you're going to be doing any image editing, I encourage you to pick up a copy. I'll provide a link below for you. So we're going to end up with something similar to this, um, but in order to do that, we have to start with a basic Coca-Cola logo. So I'm going to close this one out, and here is our basic logo. Now we've got a decision to make. Do we want to have a white background, let's say, to use on print media, or do we need to put it on a transparency? Uh, if we wanted it transparent, what we do is go to Layer, and we're going to choose Transparency, and then Add Alpha Channel. But for our purposes, we're not going to do that. I just wanted you to know how to do it in case you needed it. Uh, the next thing that we have to do is actually have an image to do the distressing. And I have a picture here. This is uh, the side of a dumpster or something that I took. And I encourage you, if you've got a camera, to go out and take a lot of pictures of different textures because you never know when and where you're going to need them if you're doing the image editing. Uh, first thing we've got to do with this now is discard all the color. So we're going to go to Image, and we're going to go to Mode, and Grayscale. Now we've got to go to Colors. We're going to go to our Curves panel. And we're going to blow this image out. We're going to make it as black and white as possible. We want to get these whites very, very white and these blacks very black. Uh, the black parts of this image here are what's actually going to distress out that other one. So we don't want it too black because if it's too black, we're not going to actually be able to see that Coca-Cola logo. Uh, but if we don't have enough black in there, it's not going to do much distress. And I think right there is probably going to look good. So I'm going to save it there. Now if you don't know, GIMP is a lot like Windows, or it has a lot of the Windows shortcuts, things like Control A for Select All, Control C for Copy. I am going to go through it the long way though, just so everybody can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to go here and Select All, and then I'm going to copy this. Now I'm going to go back to my original image, this Coca-Cola logo. And what I'm going to do is paste this into that image. And now you can see here, if I were to do it like this, that would take out most of the word cola. So we've got to go over here to our Move tool, and we're going to grab this and scoot it over. I want to move it over to the right so that it takes out a lot of that right side. Uh, I don't want to take out much of the words, though, because we need people to know what it says. However, I like these black streaks going through here because they're actually going to tear through uh, the word Coca-Cola. Now we're going to choose our Select by Color button here. And down here is our selection panel. And click down here in the lower right hand corner. It's going to select all this black area for us. Once we've got that selected, we're going to come up here to Edit. Now I could just mash the Delete button, but so everybody again can see uh, we're going to clear that now we've got the little twinkly blinking thing some people call them ants I don't know what you want to call it but basically it's an area that's uh, selected let's go up here to this floating selection we're going to highlight it uh, by left clicking on it and then we're going to right click and we're just going to delete that layer we have still got everything selected and again we can mash delete but we're going to do it this way uh, we're going to come in here and click clear and then we're going to go to select and we're going to select none and that is how to distress an image using GIMP now just save it however you want hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial and y'all come back soon